So what was I gonna do? I feel like I'm very scattered, kind of all the time, but especially today. <laughs> yeah, intro content, I should write that down. I just use my, my chat to Lucy as a notepad. I hope she understands what I'm, uh, what I'm saying. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Okay, see what happens when we get together? So, uh, YouTube, welcome back. We are writing poetry. We've come up with a meter for Kranzlor. We've come up with the first, um, well, the first couplets, the first couplet of our, um, of our epic poem about the, the song of Duan Tarun is what it's called. Uh, and let's keep writing. We're going to learn more about the, the world building. We're going to learn more about the, the language. And, uh, and by when I say learn, I mean make up. So onwards and upwards. Uh, but whoa, 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 got to thank the patrons. Always thank the patrons. Thank you, patrons, for making this, uh, for making this all possible. Uh, really, it, it's, it's you who's keeping the lights on, you know, figuratively and literally. All right, so over to the... Oh, no, that's not it. Over back to... <sighs> Look! Light mode, because I turned off the thing for my website. No, we won't be. Uh, it burns. Dark reader. On. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is bright. And I'm sorry, I know there are some of you who prefer the white background spreadsheets, but my eyes cannot take it, especially in the studio with the, the lighting situation and, and everything. Yeah, before I knew about dark reader, we had to put up with it. And if you go back to the very start of these playlists, you'll see, you know, vintage, vintage Colin setup. It's, uh, it's something. Sotten, thank you. Yes, we can, we'll, 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 we'll work something out. We'll work something out on the, uh, on the patron call. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to recite the poem again. Let's just get rid of the, this version, which didn't end up making the cut. So if you haven't seen the first part of this um, YouTube and you're watching this now, maybe watch the episode before is when you can, s where you can see where, how we came up with this, this poem. But basically the, the lines are the poem itself, the, the word by word gloss, and then a terrible English poem, um, free translation. So, Maram man yo duan tarun, baran bangri ate, mrak namya sakratn zun, Tradak mat yore. Right? Okay. So. Oh, hear me sing of Duan Tarun who sailed against the tide. He beat the foe, he sailed the storm, and bore marks from the sun. We don't have a nice rhyme in English. Maybe we could make it rhyme in English. No, no, no. That's not the purpose of this. The purpose is to make the poem. But anyway. So Duan Tarun, we had some ideas in the chat, and I'm going to scroll up so that we can write them all down. And bore, and bore the sun's marks on his hide. He beat the foe, he sailed the storm, and bore. Uh, we that, we'd need an extra foot for that. And bore the sun his hide. You know we don't have. Bore sun. And bore sun's. Bore sun's marks on his hide. That's it. Oh, I seem to have gone into a weird keyboard. Okay, where's the... Okay, there. Oh, hear me sing of Duan Tarun who sailed against the tide. He beat the foe, he sailed the storm, bore sun's marks on his hide. That's good. Okay, moving on. Oh yeah, Thomas, you you, you got it. Um, Jack's asking, wouldn't Dak Hamat become Dak Hamat, uh with an, as an aspirated K? Uh, very, very very well may have um we haven't done a proper phonological sketch of kranzlor so maybe phonetically uh let's go back and see so we have duan tarun is the proto sakrat form duan tarun is the proto sakrat form of this culture hero literally means um fruit holder and we were wondering where that may have come from. And there were some ideas. I, I, I sort of half jokingly said, maybe there's a childhood story of uh, how he escaped 
and was found found by a fruit tree holding fruit. You, I'm kind of reminded of the story of Hercules strangling the uh, the serpents in his uh, in his bed as an infant. So the question, what fruits are special to this culture? We have to dive into the world building for that, I think, a little bit. And oh my goodness, the work that has been done. I am just absolutely flabbergasted. Um, Majahadra has to get a huge shout out here uh, for having for having come up with some awesome climate maps, um, you know, prevailing winds, currents, all of these things. We're going to need to incorporate that uh, when we think about what fruits. Uh, that map, oh, that map. Um, so maybe maybe there's something to this fruit holding story. He escaped uh, and was found by a fruit tree. Maybe he killed something. I don't know. What would be, what would be an animal that's associated with the sun? Maybe we can come up with this idea that this group does not really like the sun that much. They find the sun oppressive uh, in their in their culture, and so they view themselves as kind of in rebellion against the sun. Maybe they get sunburned a lot and they don't like it. I don't know. Um, and the sun is kind of like, like in some cultures where the sun is worshipped, this is where the sun is kind of the bad, the bad guy. Yeah, canary. Or maybe there's like a, having killed a sunbird, he was holding the fruit of the tree mythological parallels going on here yeah so like like a phoenix essentially something like that I, how do i get this to let's put it here and then have it go there we go oh gosh i don't know sometimes i just don't know so there we go that's better so duan tarun fruit holder <laughs> the spreadsheet formatting segment, aka every segment. I bet no one's too upset that we're editing those out of the videos from now, uh, from now on. Okay, so fruit holder, yeah, he he killed a phoenix. Um, he's holding the fruit of the tree. It's maybe it's a special tree that has um, this. For this act, the um, sun swore vengeance on. Duan Tarun and pursued him with, um, I don't know, trials. Trees need some, yeah, I mean, it's true, but if they're coming from this sort of Polynesian inspired um, island, you know, island climate, they're probably not going to have too much. Um, now, okay, so I, I'll, I'll confess I don't know about the climate of Polynesia, but I'm envisioning, you know, the, the, the sun beating down. We got a lot of, a lot of sun, the situ the sun situation is perhaps over the top and maybe that's what they have. Or maybe they have this kind of notion of the sun that's split. So they have like the good sun and the bad sun and the good sun is the sun that gives them all the, the, the stuff that makes the plants grow, yada, yada, yada. And the, the bad sun is the sun that burns them and they're, and these two suns are in sort of combat or something like that. Or maybe, you know, the culture as a whole likes the sun, but then this one group is anti-sun. I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Majahadu, that's it. The good sun draws you to the beach. The bad sun leaves you with the sunburn. I don't know. So there's something going on there, maybe. Literally two suns? That I don't know how that would influence all the world building stuff and that's like way above my world building grade <laughs> i don't know and pursued him with trials um yeah something like this the sun god i think so i think that's it oh jack yeah 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 i like that so there's the in the past there was a good sun but it has vanished and been replaced with a bad sun and the people do sort of ritual acts 
in order to make the good son return. Something like that. I like something like that. And, you know, then the question is, what's going to happen when these people encounter the owl, the owl worshippers? It's going to be, oh, it's going to be a wild scene. And so Duan Tarun is kind of like the the, the uh, founding here. It's like the Aeneas of this uh, culture. He's the first one who, maybe he's the one who taught them how to combat the bad son or something like that. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, Satan. What if the moon is the corpse of the good son? <laughs> whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is awesome. Okay, see what happens when we get together? Let's just put all of this and make this wrap. There we go. Okay. So something like this. Maybe we can incorporate some of this mythology into the poem. Maram ngaman yodwan tarun baran bangriyate marak nmya sakrat nzun tradak hamat yore Okay, so then maybe we can incorporate the the story of the childhood. Maybe we can incorporate the story of the childhood of of Duan Tarun here. Just maybe mention it obliquely and then go into the middle of the, the you know the classic. I'm basically just copying epic convention from uh, from the classical world here, but we could jump into. Um, into the you know in medias race in the middle of into the middle of things so we could say something like um the one who when young slew the phoenix with a lemon <laughs> and then what what can we say maybe something like for 10 years wandered the waves something like this and so we meet Duan Tarun in the middle of this wandering this extensive wandering you know maybe it's it's a sort of an odyssey the odyssey style situation where he's been going around hmm we need to so maybe Trun is specifically a lemon I don't know okay well, let's let's use this as our base, and we can change it as we go, if we want. So, young. So this would be something like young time. Manslay Phoenix. Ten years. Oh yeah, we need a relative. And this years ten, right? Do we where where do numerals go? Where did numerals go? Did we say? I don't think we said, but let's put them after. Yeah, this concept is amazing. And what a collaboration. Duan Tarun slew a phoenix with a lemon as a child. <laughs> uh, okay, so then let's see. Do we have a word for young? I'm assuming I'm just going to use this young time to mean like in his youth. I don't know if that's the gr the greatest thing of all, but at least this allows us to customize. So mbit, that's that's time. Young time. Do we have use or is it like an instrumental nom? And then we need a word for lemon. I don't know if we're going to use trun for that. Um, probably not. I think we'd use we want a, a different word. Uh, do we have slay, kill? No. So we need a kill word. We need a word for this phoenix and then ate. I don't want to end in ate again because we just did. Nevertheless, let's keep going. Year, 10. No, we don't have any of these. C. Satra. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Kusli. So, really the C. Okay, Satra. Can we just say the yellow fruit? Yes. Oh, and Jack, thank you. I'm, I don't know why I keep messing up the uh, order. 
within the noun phrase. Okay. So this is the phoenix. And I think I saw Dasui for lemon. What is Dasui is in here, right? Is it just empty? No, it's not. We don't have it at all. Okay, that's going in. Maybe maybe we could say yellow fruit. Let's see how this works out with the um the meter. And then let's see if we need to do anything else. Stra. Ooh, stra. I like that. Okay, so Phoenix is stra. Mm -hmm. Das we, zwi. With the uh, with the caveat that we can change our word for for lemon to be yellow fruit or sour fruit or or something like that. And zwi does sound very sour though. It's right. <laughs> um, beat young. Okay, we need some more words here. Kukur. Oh, Elijah, I love that. Kukur for kill. What does it give us? Kur. But it's a special kur that allows us to have an I am there. Or maybe maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just maybe if it turns into one consonant, then that I am is gone forever. Beat. Okay, what else do we need? Beat. We need a word for young, which we don't have. No. What? Okay, let's look at our our proto inventory. Beat. So if we look at the meter here, we have weak, strong. We want this to be weak. Hmm. Yeah, yeah this could be iambic too. And then we'd have to, but then we're in this trouble of having strong, weak, strong here. Unless we do this weak, time young. And we sort of demote it to make it fit into the meter here. Skur, sutra, ate. Yeah, this, this line is going to be hard. Hanong. Oh, hey, Queen. Hanong. I like that. Hnong. That's beautiful. Okay. Mbit hnong nom. Mbit hnong nom. Yeah, there's something off here. But I think this can work. So essentially what you can do sometimes in iambic pentameter is to swap things around. So instead of weak, strong, weak, strong, you can do weak, weak, strong, strong, or strong, strong, weak, weak. So maybe that's what's happening here. Mbit nong nom zwi kur stra. Oh, although we're we're doing four then three, right? So the rest of it has to go. Mbit nong nom zwi kur. It's a bit awkward. I'll say that. A bit awkward indeed. Sutra ate. Hmm. Okay. Sutrate. Okay, that's fine. We can we can work with that. Mbit nong no munzwi kur. No munzi no munzwi kur. Yeah, because if nom so nom I want to be a weak um because it's really more of an instrumental. Oops. Instrumental. So then we'd have this, maybe we'd have this coalescence of the two weeks. So we have foot, foot, foot. And then we need, we can put something here, something weak, some grammatical particle that goes right before Phoenix, uh, for slay. And then we take Phoenix and put it down in the next line. Yeah, okay. Um, this this ain't your grandma's amphitheater. Uh, Yadiel, um, do I have the option disabled? I don't know. I will have to ask um, Lucy, our intrepid producer, uh, about the Twitch settings because I don't know very much about them. Um, but yes, um, I will get back to you on that one. Um, I will write down. 
right down over somewhere. Hold on one second. Writing down. There we go. I just used my my chat to Lucy as a notepad. I hope she uh, understands what I'm uh, what I'm saying. Okay, so just making Zui a single strong syllable. So if we have the option to treat these historical IMs as just strong syllables, then we could do that. So mbit nong nom zui nom zui something kur, and maybe. We could use our le here, which should be some sort of a past tense thing. Like some sort of a distant past. Maybe. Mbit nong nom zui le kur. And then we have our iambic tetrameter here. Non zui. Okay, so Quain's got us just non zui ba 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 kur. So instead of using something like distant past, we could have a different word for kill. Uh, that's fine. Let's do it. Okay, so so what can we use? We, let's use something that's that's kind of weak to give us our our verb of of slaying. Maybe just so. Another root that means kill. And let's put it into the change matic So so cool. And so these go together. So cool. Just a kind of a synonym compound there. Mbit nong nom zui so cool. And then. And then we have to go over and finish the line. So. When young with a lemon killed, the phoenix. Ate. Maybe we can avoid this ate, it's sort of understood. We could just keep the a in maybe. Sutra a. And we need to finish this up with a, with SWS. So maybe some kind of a word meaning hero or something. Okay, wow, we have some really good suggestions coming in in the chat about uh, about the evolution of this kill word. I'm going to write these down. So maybe maybe so means die and then it gets used in this kill uh, compound. What's really going to be interesting is to see these roots that we make for this um, for this poem and for this language. We're going to see how they change into in like say me or sasyut or some of the other languages or pkwak. Yeah. I like that. So the root could be flip, and then it goes to die and then to kill. Cool. All right. So, mbit nong nom mbit nong nom zui so kur so tra a, and then we need something to end it. And let's make a word that means hero. And I don't know what we're going to derive this from. We could just make up some more roots. We could make one like great and then one hero. Uh, so let's get let's get a uh, a monosyllable for for great. Oh no, we need a monosyllable for hero, don't we? Phoenix row hero great, yeah. Mm. Okay, and then we have to think of what about what we want this to be rhyming with as well. There's a lot. To, this is like again. This is like Sudoku with words. Victory person, Quain. Victory, victory. Girak, mrak. Stra, stra, amrak. And then do we have person? Suit. Okay, stra asut marak. So this is literally person victory, but it means hero. Put that together. Okay, so this whole line, mbit, sorry, 
mbit hnong nom zui sokur stra asut marak. Mbit hnong nom zui sokur stra asut marak. Asut marak. All right, moving on. Years ten wandered the sea. You know what? I might I might put in a little break for YouTube just uh, so I can do the whole water splash thing and give Birai a chance to come back. So let's put in a a little a little break here. YouTube, thank you for thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure as usual. You know, just keep doing what you're doing. It's all great. Uh, come back next time and we will see more of the adventures of Duan Tarun.